Why do we fear death? It's a question that lingers in the minds of many, an echo in the hush of our shared human experience. No matter the era, no matter the nationality, death is the one certainty we all face. It's the finished product of life, the inevitable conclusion that waits for us all. Yet, it's cloaked in fear, shrouded in mystery. But what if we told you that death is not something to be feared? The Savior journeyed into the valley of the shadow of death before us. His path was not one of ease or comfort, but rather one of sacrifice and ultimate love. He descended into the pit of everlasting death and despair, a place where fear reigns and hope seems lost. Yet where others saw an end, the Savior saw a beginning. He transformed this pit into a passageway, a bridge from the mortal to the immortal, from the temporal to the eternal. His footsteps, etched in the dust of this valley, serve as our roadmap to eternity. Every step he took, every sorrow he bore, every pain he endured marked a path for us to follow. This journey wasn't without purpose. It was a deliberate act of redemption, a demonstration of divine love. The Savior's footsteps in the valley of death are the guideposts we need to navigate our own journey. The Savior's journey through death transformed it into a passageway to glory. Death carries no sting for you. Consider this. Our Savior has already faced the sting of death, leaving it behind on the cross. He has transformed death, turning it from a pit of despair into a passageway to glory. He is ever-present, offering comfort and guidance as we navigate our earthly journeys. He extends His hand, inviting us to walk fearlessly into the heavenly world. Do not fear to go where God has been. After all, the cross has shed its danger to all who come to Him. An open call echoes through the valley of life, a gentle whisper in the wind that's impossible to ignore. It is the Savior, extending an invitation to all. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, he says. He invites us to lay down our fears, our worries, and our doubts at his feet. He offers us the gift of eternal life, a life free from the fear of death, a life filled with hope and peace. His invitation is not exclusive, it's not reserved for the perfect or the virtuous. It is open to all, regardless of past mistakes or current struggles. No one is too far gone. No one is beyond his reach. So will you accept his invitation? Will you step into the transformation that awaits you?